it's cold. Back to below freezing, uh, currently 15 degrees. Wind chill is, uh, I think, just above freezing, maybe even slightly below, but it's cold regardless. We uh, had a little bit of a thaw and uh, rain situation Saturday night. It's currently Monday. And that kind of screwed th some things up. Had had a pretty good streak going there. In fact, it might have been my best streak uh, in a very long time, if not ever. Had, uh, I think, five days or six days with catches in a row. And uh, the last day, you even caught a coyote and a red fox. Um, and then that warm up and rain and then a flash freeze kind of kind of screwed some things up and actually today what i'm due to do is go around and rebate and relure pretty much every set that i have um, i may actually even have to do a reset in a spot or two but um, we're back on the trail i've got just just over a week left of my trapping season and uh, then we'll call it call it good, get to calling, and maybe do some beaver trapping in February down in southern Ohio. But um, so far, I can't complain. For the weather that we fought for the first two and a half weeks, um, things turned around pretty pretty quick and, and have gone pretty well. I'm up to, uh, what, six coyotes and four red fox. So that's, that's a pretty decent showing um, for our area. You know, I, I've talked about it, or I think I've talked about it in the past, that we are completely different than a lot of a lot of states um, here in Northwest Ohio. Even we're different than Southeast Ohio. Um, we don't have a ton of animals. You know, your professional trappers in Pennsylvania, Texas, Kansas, places like that. They have a lot of animals that they can uh, go after. We we just don't have that. Obviously, we've got animals um, to catch and keep us entertained and and uh, that we have to manage but by and large we don't have unless you want to run a 200 mile um trap line every day you're not going to catch the, that 100 fox mark or anything like that so anyways i'm happy with what i got so far would like to catch a couple more coyotes i have a feeling we could catch a red today we'll just just have to see how the day plans out oh pans out oh, a little rough. What's up, dude? Don't you know you're supposed to stay out of those? I mean, really? Really? I'd rather you stayed out of that. Had a distinct feeling uh, that we would be getting into some raccoons. Yesterday, checking traps, I think I had two or three flip outs by raccoons and uh, had another dirt hole where a raccoon had uh, dug my dirt out. And here this morning, we got another raccoon. Um, it's breeding season for raccoons and they are running all over the place. The couple flip outs that I had yesterday were a long ways from any timber section. So breeding season is here. We don't have any snow on the ground, so they're running pretty doggone hard. We've had a little bit of a warm up. Uh, yesterday it was up to 40. Today I think we're supposed to get close to that again. So anyways, it is not my target animal, um, frankly. We have too many of them, no doubt about that. But not my target animal. Nonetheless, it's good to take a, a nest robber uh, out of the out of the population. They do a lot of damage to our turkey population and whatnot. So good to take him out nonetheless. But we're gonna dispatch him, get this reset. He made a mess of it, but we'll get a reset and uh, keep on checking. This is only the second spot so far this morning, and we do at least have a beautiful sunrise uh, greeting us this morning. Sweet. Heat. Gotta love that. He Better tired that. too. You going back to sleep? Yeah. You're upside down, dude. Sweet. Nice high catch too. Yeah. Don't get any higher on that trap. Yeah. Good deal. Okay, gang. Out checking traps this morning. First spot. And we got a coyote. This is the first coyote here at this this particular hay set down a long lane. Got my buddy. My trapping mentor, the guy that got me, uh, unfortunately for, for some of my family members that are like, you're nuts. This is the guy that got me involved in trapping years ago. And uh, this is a first, first year for setting this particular farm. We've got a long lane coming right here behind this house and a big old railroad bed. 
got a hay set on this side and on the other side I've got a uh, our dirt hole set that we use I call it the Kevin dirt hole set because it's the one that Kevin Kevin uh, led me on two years ago but pretty sweet pretty sweet another coyote on the hay set it has been the the pay set Kevin and I were just talking about this yesterday that we uh, traps have kind of gone dead for both of us I was hot about two weeks ago had five or six days with catches in a row and then things went kind of cold and you'll have that during trapping season of course but um, another dark coyote awesome we're gonna dispatch him reset the uh, set here and move along we got a lot of traps to go today good morning starting week six of trapping here this morning and I know I've got a handful of resets to do uh, a trap to swap out and some other things and it's not because I checked the line yesterday it's because Kevin checked the line yesterday scored on number eight coyote here in the state of Ohio it is legal to have somebody uh, check your traps uh, as long as you give them permission to do to do so and I had to do that I had to go out of town for a baptism and a birthday party yesterday and I uh, got a nice text from Kevin that scored on another coyote so that's number eight and the weird thing is at least weird to me um, is that out of the eight only one has been a male coyote the rest have all been females that's pretty bizarre in my book um, I might have to reach out to a biologist just to see what that might be about but nonetheless coyote on the board Again, got a handful of resets to do today. Um, I know I've got one trap I gotta swap out because it was getting too rusty. Um, and then we're gonna see how, how it goes. Uh, I've really got three more nights and then I'm headed to, uh, to Texas. Y'all are gonna wanna stick around for that trip. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna be doing some deer hunting, uh, hopefully some predator hunting and shooting some pigs as well. But getting started on the trap line today we'll see what what the day brings that's one thing about trapping keeps it fun is it's like christmas you just never know what's going to be at the next site so let's see how today goes and we have ourselves here a little bit of a situation i've had a couple coyotes that every five days or so will walk by here and how do i know that well i have a trail camera set up just over yonder and uh, it's there been there phew, since July probably but anyways these coyotes will come and they will work the set but they will not commit the second problem that I got is that I have a raccoon that is flipping the traps out I just showed you the traps laying in the bed the one is super rusty I'm actually going to go ahead and swap that trap out for a new one coyotes can smell rust coyotes and fox can smell rust coon can but they don't seem to really care that much um, and will still kind of get caught in your in your rusty trap but as soon as the trap gets as rusty as that, I'm gonna swap it out. So I'm gonna swap these, the one trap out. The other one's fine. I actually swapped that one last week. And I'm gonna reset that set. I'm thinking about putting in a new, a different set somewhere around here. Um, just to throw them a curveball, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. Um, one thing that I am gonna do is take some coon cuffs and put them right here. That raccoon is coming in and out of this section, so in hopes that I will catch him in there and keep him out of my leg holds, I'm going to go ahead and throw um, a couple coon cuffs in with some marshmallows and hopefully catch him there and keep him out of my leg holds. Um, so we'll see. Those coyotes haven't been back for about five days now. They're due to come back. Um, that's one thing about coyotes. You know, yes, they own a huge, large territory. And if you watch, though, they will work that territory every four to seven days typically it's not always the case but every four to seven days and these coyotes here seem to be coming by about every fifth day for the most part um, they're not always on schedule and of course depending on the wind they may work a different uh, a different way but there's coyotes in the area and I want to get them caught or at least try to get them caught so time to reset swap out a trap So we're pretty much reset, um, but I want you to come over here and take a look at something with me. When I was uh, resetting this, I needed some, some more chaff, some more bean chaff to help um, hide the traps a little bit, blend them in. So I came over here about, what am I, 
six, seven yards off the trap set. See, it's right, right, right there behind me. Came over here, and look what we got here. Got a big pile of dirt, and we got coyote scat number one, coyote scat number two. So, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the said coyote scat, and I'm gonna put it right over there by my set, and then I'm also going to take the other pile and use it probably at another, another trap site. So, anyways, they're here. We just need them to commit, and uh, I think the set's looking good. We need to keep that raccoon out of this set, and uh, need those coyotes to come by and get hungry. I think it'll happen. We just got to be patient. We got something, y'all. I think it might be a red fox. Very, very cool. Beautiful red fox at that. Oh my goodness, is he pretty. Mercy. That is a beautiful red. Beautiful red fox. Nice white tip on his tail and everything. This hay set right here, this is the third animal on this particular hay set. Uh, first one was a coyote, and this is our second red fox, and this is probably the prettiest red fox that I've caught so far this year. So, just a beautiful red, nice cherry color. Little white tip on his tail. Awesome, let's get this baby reset and continue on the traps. We've got, uh, I've got two days left before I gotta pack up and head to Texas, but awesome, awesome. Trap line has been hot this year for sure. There you go. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's a coyote. Sweet. Yeah, in the hay set, buddy. Number 14. Yep, he just, he's going nuts too. He was sleeping. Oh, it's a pale. Yeah, when you start on. Really pale color. Really pale color coyote. How good do I got you, buddy? Ooh, I only got him by a couple toes. All yeah. right, well, I'll hang up with you. All right, sounds good. All right, All talk right. to you later. Yep. See you. That right there will work. She did a number on my uh, trap pan there. Coyotes are extremely, extremely rough on traps sometimes. You bend the pans. Um, Bend the dog by jumping up and down and catching it on the hard ground and that sort of thing. But I think I just got this one leveled out enough. You can see it's probably, I don't know if you can see that from there or not, but it's it's still got a little wave to it, but it'll work. It will work as long as it's going to set flat. Yeah, she'll work. All right, so, you know, normally I like to, you know, sit with the coyote and talk about the set and the area in general and why I did what I did so on and so forth but that was not going to be the case with this coyote when I pulled up on her um, I could see that I did not have her all that good just a couple toes and that's a couple things that we haven't talked about um, I don't think to this point in any of our trapping videos is uh, dispatching the coyotes and getting them handled quickly like I said sometimes I often I guess like to sit and talk about the catch and and where I set the trap and what kind of set all that sort of thing but sometimes that's not a good idea uh, this was one of those times that I had heard by just a couple toes and she was pretty wound up and in the past um, before I was filming I've I've had coyotes pull out and that's never a fun situation so I went ahead and dispatched her. You can see she's laying over there a bit, bleeding out some. Um, and that's, again, one thing we haven't really discussed is when you dispatch a coyote and shoot it, there is nothing that I've found in this world so far that I've hunted that bleeds like a shot coyote. Holy smokes. And you want to take them, as soon as you shoot them and... Uh, you know you got a good shot on them, good head shot. They are gonna start bleeding like you wouldn't believe. And you wanna remove that coyote out of the trap as quickly as possible. Obviously you wanna do it safely. Safely, You know you wanna know you got a good, good head shot on that coyote. But you wanna get that, that coyote out of the trap ASAP and move it off 
at least out of the fight circle. I've moved her off another, I don't know, five feet or so out of the fight circle because uh, she's going to continue to bleed. And, uh, yeah, you just don't want any blood, if you can help it, as little blood as possible inside your fight circle. I've got a little bit over there from when she went down, and there's nothing I can really do with it. The ground's froze up too hard to really mess with it. So I'm just going to play that as it lies, I guess and remake the set so now that she's dispatched i'm remaking the set i will talk about it a little bit you know i think it was beginning of last week maybe i uh, cut a red fox over on the other side i have a dirt hole set on the eastern side of this little land bridge and uh, i've been waiting for a coyote to hit here this is a perfect perfect spot to set up for trapping for canines, you've got big grass field here in between crop fields and everything feeds down into this little bowl where this land bridge is. Everything just feeds right down into it. And this is the first sign of a coyote that I've had here this year. So um, good to catch one, no doubt about it. In fact, I think I had a neighbor just the other day say that she saw, oh, let's see, it'd be about a half mile south of here. She saw two coyotes running across the field on the way to church. Or I guess her husband saw him that morning. So it's been a good day on the line. Red fox, I did catch a raccoon somewhere, and, uh, and a coyote. So good double catch day here in Northwest Ohio. That is, uh, what, coyote number nine, female number eight. Just absolutely floored by that. That it skewed my uh, catch ratio, sex ratio, is skewed so heavily towards the females, but I'm not complaining. That's for sure. I am not a fan of coyotes. I have so much respect for them, but man, I can't stand them at the same time. Pretty solid year. Pretty solid year. 14 animals off of 10 farms, even, so not trapping a lot of areas. In fact, I think I've got six or seven farms that. Uh, I'm not going to set it all this year. That's okay because we're still catching stuff. Yeah, I think a little bit more. A little bit more straw. Get that up just a little bit and we'll be set. Something stood up. Oh, we got another red fox. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Oh my, look at the white, I can see the white tip from here. Oh my, wow, that is a beauty. That is a beauty, y'all. It's another male, are you kidding me? It's another male. Here we are guys with another red fox. The hay set has just been unbelievable in this particular spot. I've talked about it before, I'm gonna reiterate. I used to trap mostly the east side of this old railroad bed, and that's where I had all the action. Over the last couple of years, I haven't had hardly any action on that side, but I've seen tracks when we get a skiff of snow here on the western side. So I decided to set this, this side this year, and here we are with a fourth catch. I've caught three red fox and one coyote on this one particular set. Um, so that's awesome, and this is a beautiful red. Got one of the wider tips on his tail that I've ever caught, and it's another male kind of floored this year on our uh, sex ratio just talking to my my buddy kevin you guys have seen him a little bit here and there and so far this year this would be fox number 16 and all but one have been males we've only caught one female out of 16 red fox and then on the flip side all our coyotes have been females we've only caught one out of 14 coyotes that's been a female so really interesting the biology there but uh gonna go ahead and take care of this fox you know I don't know if I've talked about it yet but over the last three years or so we've let pretty much every red fox go in hopes that the population would kind of kind of return to normal levels and um, I'd say we're to that point so we're gonna go ahead and take some of some of our reds off the landscape reason being is when they start to overpopulate they are highly susceptible to mange and they spread it to other fox and then die a slow, miserable, miserable death. So for those out there that think trapping is not uh, a conservation effort, I beg to differ. 
um, by taking a few here and there it actually helps the population and uh, yeah pretty awesome but kind of interesting too is today's a, a day that I'm really actually snapping every trap set I have off and out, out headed out on a trip to Texas it's gonna be a fun trip a special trip uh, we're gonna be deer hunting probably doing a little bit of predator hunting and uh, gonna have a good time you guys are gonna want to stick around for that it'll be probably several weeks after I get back until I get that that video uploaded and uh, that sort of thing because we got a couple other deer hunts to get through first um, but in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and take care of mr. Fox here and uh, rock and roll set the rest of my traps off and uh, yeah beautiful beautiful red fox And that right there is the last trap to snap off for the day. Is it the end of my trapping season? I don't know. I hope not. I don't think it will be. But uh, snapping off for today, heading to Texas. I know you all are going to want to stick around for that. Um, and when I get back, hopefully I can get at least reset part of the line that I know I have coyotes on. I'll have a couple of days where I can catch and keep red fox. And after that, we'll have to release them if I catch one. So been a good season regardless if I get to trap a little bit more or not been a really good trapping season uh, for the weather kind of that we've had to deal with a little bit especially right there at the beginning so yeah nine coyotes six fox so far and we'll see if uh, we can set some more when I get back that's all for now